What up, people? We are back in Buenos Sema, DJ Saber, two British nerds. First of all, hope everyone had a cool, nice, dope um, Christmas. Hopefully, someone out there got a big, fat PlayStation 5 underneath the big, fat, juicy Christmas tree or the new Xbox and so forth. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out of there. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's one person that was like, ah, the PlayStation 5, oh my gosh. Um, I can't wait to grab mine sometime. Um next year a hundred percent uh so i saw one doorman literally on the 26 and um to be honest it was i'm i'm happy that i actually never watched this movie in the theaters because i would have wasted f uh, f food cinema movie food and would have wasted money on a ticket and i would have come out like ah um, before we move forward, um, what I did want to say was this this will be a spoiler free review, so I'm not going to speak about details about the movie. Basically, I'm not going to spoil the movie for you, period. 100% I am not going to spoil, spoil the movie for you. Um, it was bad. It was messy. It made no sense. Um, there was nothing to wonder about Wonder Woman in this movie. Um, it, it was, she was like just completely sucked dry of the character that we saw in the first Wonder Woman movie. It made no logical sense. Um, the villains were just really, it was just bad. Both of them were just, it was really, really bad. Um, the storytelling, the plot, the editing of the movie, the CGI, the green screen, it was just, it was really bad. I'm trying to figure out which was worse, Wonder Woman 2 or literally Batman versus Superman. <laughs> like or possibly even justice league um no let's keep it between batman versus superman and wonder woman too um i just it just i just i was watching it i was like oh my gosh what am i watching what am i watching like it, it made no logical sense i mean it, it was like first of all it was like she didn't do anything in the movie like she wasn't even in the movie like as if like it felt like it wasn't a Wonder Woman movie it felt like it was a movie for other characters within the movie if you know what I mean it just didn't sit well um it just made no sense it, it made no logical sense the only thing I enjoyed about basically Wonder Woman um two was basically Chris Pine as Steve Trevor well, I, I enjoyed him because seeing him in the first Wonder Woman movie and this movie basically he's basically playing he's basically playing Captain James T Kirk of the Starship Enterprise so it, it literally it just literally felt like I was watching Captain Kirk on a mission on earth like you know it it felt like parts of the movie was a re was it felt like parts of this movie was actually retelling of the last movie it, it honestly felt like it was a bad reboot of the first Wonder Woman movie. It was bad. I enjoyed, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the, the 1984 basically, um, vintage clothing style era, those vibes. That, that was cool to see. But everything else, scrap that. So the other thing that I enjoyed about Wonder Woman 2 was the, the cut scene, the post credit scene, sorry. Two things I enjoyed. If literally like watching Wonder Woman 2 it felt like Fox purchased the rights of Warner Brothers who own DC they purchased the rights to Wonder Woman and they just ripped her apart and made a movie based on, on how they saw the character with no comic book feel energy nothing you know it was like it was basically like watching a bad X-Men movie. That's how this Wonder Woman movie basically felt like. It, it it was deprived of DC DC vibes. It just it was it was bad. It was such a bad movie. And I was like, but how? Like, don't get me wrong. I watched the first Wonder Woman movie. I enjoyed the first part. The second arc was a bit it it it, it was long, it dragged, and I thought they could have cut the story down and showed so much. Um but and I was like, okay, cool. It wasn't, it wasn't a, like a bad movie, but I was like, uh, nah, it was just, I wasn't feeling it because I was expecting like Amazonians, gods, goddesses fighting, all that stuff, like, you know, Wonder Woman stuff, basically. Um, but 
you know, for me, that didn't happen in the movie. But I was like, cool, because, you know, to, I did, I, I enjoyed it. It was like, it kind of dragged, but compared to this, this was, this was a catastrophe, man. It was like a nuclear bomb went off. It was like they totally ripped up the character. It's like you went from that, which I thought was a cool movie, and then you went to this, to this. It just made no sense. I was like, how? How does someone do that? How does someone do that? And just so we understand each other, right? I don't blame the actors or actresses. I don't blame, um, you know, Chris Pine or Gal Gadot, if I pronounced that right, I hope I did. I don't, I don't, I don't have any beef with them in regards to, um, you know, them acting. The acting was cool. Like even the villains, you know, the characters, the, in the movies. No, they, the, 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 for me, the, the acting was on point. It was cool. It was the production, the storytelling, the way it was written, like the essence of it was just, it was just really poor. And that's how I felt when I watched the movie. Luckily for me, I was watching it on my bed. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I was watching it online. Like, you know, I was watching it online. So I was like, it was kind of a weird experience to watch a movie online compared to actually watching the movie in the big screen. You know, cause that's, this is the first time I've ever watched like a so-called blockbuster movie that, you know, literally on the on, on my laptop like you know it was weird it was really really weird um apart from that i don't really have i don't have anything i don't really have anything left to say because i would actually go into spoiling the movie but that was pretty much it i mean it was just it was just it made no sense it, it was like it was like they decided to reboot the first wonder wonder woman movie in, and make it into this one. It was just bad. And then now they've got they've given the green light for Wonder Woman 3. Really? Come on, man. Come on. Allow us, innit? Allow us, please. Like, hopefully this movie will take place... The Wonder Woman 3 movie will take place after this. Come on, man. Come on. Like, why? And the thing is, I love her in the comics. I think she's dope. I love her in the comics. I love her character, I love her strength, her power, I love her persona, she's dope. But in the movies now, nah, nah, sorry man, they need to reboot, they need to scrap Wonder Woman 2 basically off the DC slate and just make out like it never existed. Or you know, in, 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 the, um, in the Flash movie, which is apparently, the rumour is it might reboot the DC universe, hopefully this will be rebooted and this, these movies... And this movie would never have existed because, yeah, it was bad. I couldn't watch it again. It was two and a half hours long. Two and a, the movie could have been, the movie could have ended within an hour and a half, an hour and 20 minutes. Tops. It dragged for way too long. I'm like, why? Why? I like the mall scene, the mall scene was so bad. It was just so bad. The editing, like, and I've, the reason I'm bringing it up because they've shown it in the trailer and the previews and so forth, right? It was bad. The way it was edited was bad. It I was like, oh man. It was bad. But anyway, that's my thoughts literally on Wonder Woman um, 2. Like I said, don't let my review of the movie taint your mindset in not actually watching the movie. Everyone has their own subjective movie, um, has their own subjective views, you know. I've seen people saying it was garbage. Some people saying they enjoyed it. Some people saying it was totally bad. Some people were like, it's decent. It's not like how people are making it out to be like it's a bad movie. You are the ones to make the choice, basically, and decide whether you enjoyed the movie, you thought it was totally sick, dope, it was totally poor and garbage, period. For me, it was the disappointment. It was a disappointment and a half. Anyways, hope everyone is well and literally doing well. Like I said, watch the movie. And let me know how you question, I guess, obviously, is what did you think of Wonder Woman 84 or 1984? Did you like it? Didn't you like it? Were you excited? Were you bummed out? Were you like, oh, this is kind of sick? Or were you like, what is going on? Let me know. Drop your comments down below here. And of course, click like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch every single one of you literally tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace.